All right, skipping chapter two, the maintenance instruction, lubrication instruction, trouble instruction, procedure introduction, troubleshooting operator, maintenance instruction, introduction, section one, lubricating instruction, all lubricating of the SC80T, um, mid and sat metal payment machine being recorded for the lubrication order, LO5389537312, troubleshooting procedure introduction. Table 3 1 contains the troubleshooting procedure for the locating machine with the correction of the po most operating trouble, which are the response for the operator each malfunction with the cone system or file with a list for the test inspection, which will help determine the probable cause of the corrective action to take with the performed test inspection corrective action and then that order listed. Manual cannot be uh, um, listed at all possible malfunctions that can occur with not or all the test inspection corrective action malfunctions not listed or if the malfunction is fixed or corrective action listed. On contact supervisor only the function with the scope of the operator maintenance listed. Refer to the malfunction incident following page locate the malfunction in the same way, the most nearly the same with the trouble occurring with the pavement the machine malfunction index list is the malfunction number of the troubleshooting information for the trouble to reference for the page number of the troubleshooting information file the troubleshooting step by step perform the corrective actions listed. One engine speed and engine will crank three three, engine crank shift will now start three three, engine oil pressure three three. Although engine water temperature high three four, hydraulic oil temperature two over two hundred degrees five um three four engine speed low three five fuel gauge and reading incorrectly three five all hydraulic functions inoperative three five hydraulic functions operating slowly sluggishly three five paving machine machine will not move three five auger conveyor system will not operate three six one auger conveyor system will not operate three seven auger conveyor system runs slowly three seven Vibrators will not vibrate in manual mode. 3.8. Vapor vibrators will not vibrate automatically. 3.9. Two point cylinder will not move. 3.10. 17 screen will not lower. 3.11. Um, 18 fuel spray, wash down spray will not spray. 3.12. 19 screed burners are inoperative. 3.14. And screed, screed, screed burners give off black smoke. 3.15. Troubleshooting. Continued. Malfunction testing inspection correct. If the engine will not crank, check the control, step one, check the control handle position. Both control handles are in central neutral position. Check the position emergency step two, check the position emergency stop switches. Push and put on all three emergency stop switches. Um, pull out all three emergency stop switches. Check position of the CB1. Check the CB1. CB1 trip the second time. Inform supervisor. Step two, engine tranks but will not start. Turn the ignition preheat position. Paragraph 211. Check the voltage drop of the voltmeter indicating the heater comes on. The from the supervisor voltage does not change. Check the smoke. Step two, check the smoke is off of the cranking engine. If the smoke exhaust is white, check the fuel tank for the refill of the necessary. Paragraph 33. Three. Uh, three, if the smoke exhaust is black, check the air cleaner. If the air cleaner filter is element dirty or clogged, replace the element. Figure 336. Fuel level air to cleaner. The filter element is okay. Okay. Inform the supervi supervisor. And problem three, engine oil pressure refer to the table three two. Shut down the engine, check the engine oil level if the engine oil level is oil level the engine oil is necessary three three three. Two engine oil level is okay. Uniform supervisor problem. Malfunction it had engine hot water temperature high refer to table three two. Warning, hot engine coolant air can scald. Always inspect the coolant level of the engine stop. Remove the radiator cap slowly. Relieve the pressure. Steam pressure can, per can cause personal injury. Step one, shut down the engine. Check the engine coolant level and add engine coolant as necessary. Paragraph 335. Step two, check the oil cooler. Obstruction airflow. Remove the obstruction from the air oil cooler. Step three, check to see if the fan belt is missing freight or crack. Inform the supervisor if the fan belt is missing freight or crack. Step four, if the coolant radiator, oil cooler, fan belt are okay. Inform the supervisor of the problem. Check five. Um, hydraulic oil temperature over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Refer to page 32. Step one: Check the oil temperature. Oh, sorry, check the oil cooler for the obstruction airflow. Remove the obstruction with the oil cooler. So for the oil cooler, step two: Check, check the hydraulic reservoir oil level. Check the hydraulic oil level is low. Add hydraulic oil is necessary in paragraph 334. And step three: If the oil cooler is not oil cooler is not clogged, hydraulic oil level is okay. Inform the supervisor supervisor of the problem. All right, inspection. Um, engine speed low. Refer to table three two. To check the throttle control switch. Refer to turn the throttle control switch to the desired position of max or idle per um, per paragraph three two one one. Engine speed does not increase. The engine, and then inform the supervisor of problem. Fuel gauge reading incorrectly. Remove the fuel tank cap. And visually check the fuel tank level. Note the fuel tank may be only visible with the fuel tank almost completely full. Refill the fuel tank necessary. Inform the supervisor incorrect fuel gauge reading. 
Hey, a hydraulic unit in cooperative. Uh, check the hydraulic woods wire level. If the hydraulic oil level is added, hydraulic oil necessary. Paragraph 334. Oil level is okay. Uniform. Inform supervisor of the problem. 9. Hydraulic functions operate slowly and sluggishly. Check the hydraulic reservoir. 1. Um, if the hydraulic oil level is added, hydraulic oil necessary. Paragraph 334. Check engine speed. If the maximum engine speed is two, below 2600 2, RPMs, play for the throttle control and max reposition rate of the engine speed to and per, per paragraph 211. If the engine speed is does not increase inform supervisor of problem. Ten paving machine will not move. Check the position of the travel switch. If the travel switch is in neutral position, place the travel switch in the forward or reverse position per paragraph two one. Check the position two. Change the position of the speed range switch. If the paving machine moves only in one speed range, to inform the supervisor of the problem. If the paving machine will not move the either speed either speed range, inform the supervisor of the problem. Auger conveyor system will not operate. Well, step one, check with the hydraulic reservoir. If the hydraulic oil level is low, hydraulic oil is necessary. Step two, check the auger conveyor speed control valve setting. If the auger conveyor speed control valve is are fully closed, fully clockwise, open the valve to increase the auger conveyor speed in per paragraph 213. Check the position of feeder control switch placed on the feed control switch in the up on position per paragraph 221. Step four, check the feed limit with the switch paddle for the free move and then free lead and the feed limit the switch paddle by removing any of the obstructions. Feed limit switch paddle, check flat sec, step five, check the um, position of CB, CB6, CB6 trips. The second time, inform the supervisor. Step six, if the if the hydraulic oil level speed control valve, let feed control switch setting, feed limit switch paddle, circuit breaker CB6 are okay, inform supervisor of the problem. R12, one auger system will not operate. Check the auger conveyor's speed control valve setting. If the auger conveyor speed control valve is closed fully clockwise, open the valve and creep the auger control conveyor speed. Step 2, check the position of feeder control switch. Place the feeder control switch in the upper on position. Paragraph 221, check the jamming of the conveyor. Attempt to move the conveyor in the reverse direction. Paragraph 221, the conveyor move the reverse direction. Jog the, jog the conveyor forward and reverse to free the, the jam. If the conveyor will not move the reverse, we're jamming it. It's still suspected. Use fuel spray wash down system. Dissolve and harden the any asphalt, harden asphalt. Paragraph three three seven. Step four: If the speed control valve, feed control valve switch is okay, conveyor is not jammed. Inform the supervisor of the problem. Step four: Step thirteen: Our conveyor system runs slowly. Step one: Check the hydraulic reservoir level. If the res hydraulic oil level is low, add hydraulic oil as necessary. Paragraph three three four. Step two: Check the position of your conveyor valve, um, speed control valve, turn on the speed control valve counterclockwise to increase speed. Step three: Hydraulic oil level, auger control, speed control valve setting are okay. Inform supervisor of the problem. Auger control, air speed control valve. All right, vibrators will not vibrate in manual mode. Check the position of the screen vibrator switch. If the screen vibrator switch is in, uh, is in the auto or off position, move it to the manual position. Paragraph 2232. Check the hydraulic reservoir wire levels. Hydraulic oil level is level. Hydraulic oil necessary. Paragraph 334. Check position of the screen vibration control. Move position screen vibrator control with the necessary to achieve the desired position. Turn the control valve clockwise to increase speed with the counterclockwise to decrease speed. Step 4. And the speed vibrator will, with the switch setting hydraulic oil pressure speed. Um, screen Vibration control valve setting are okay. Inform the supervisor and problem. Screen screen um, control vibration control valve. All right, vibrators will not vibrate automatically. Step one: check the operation of the screen vibrators with the screen vibrator switch in the manual position per paragraph two twenty three two. Um, if the screen vibrators fail to work, manual operating mode reverted malfunction fourteen. Check the um, conditions. Position of the screen vibrator control valve. Reposition the screen vibrator control valve. The necessary to achieve the desired speed per paragraph two two two. Turn the control valve clockwise. Increase speed. Counterclockwise. Decrease speed. Step three: check the position of control handles. Move the control handles out of the center of the neutral position per paragraph two two. Two, two, sorry, 211. Vibration desired paving machine is not desired even though in the screen vibrators and manual. Step 4. Check the operation control handles with the travel switch in the forward reverse position. If the control handles fa fail, check the circuit breaker CB1. CB1 is stripped. Reset the CB1 is not stripped in the uniform the supervisor of the problem. Sub so 5. If the screen vibration control valve setting, control the handle, the position, control the handle, operation OK, inform supervisor of the problem. All right, 16, towing point cylinder will not move. Step 1, check the hydraulic reservoir level. If the hydraulic oil level is low, add hydraulic oil level to necessary, paragraph 334. Check the insulation of tow point lock pin. Remove the tow point lock pin, paragraph 226. 10. Check the position of the tow point low. For, um, tow point flow, flow shut off valve. Open the flow point. The tow point flow shut off valve by turning the nap counterclockwise. Step four: check the position of the tow point flow control valve adjustment. Open the tow point flow control valve time point 
point movement flow fuel full cylinder stroke should be take 20 seconds to adjust the toe point flow control valve adjust and up to the two two point movement from the limit of the in, in 20 seconds all right if the low point fl um, flow shut off valve is open and the toilet point flow control valve adjustment does not improve the cylinder op operation hydraulic oil level is okay to the point locking pin is removed from the supervisor problem a right, toe point flow, flow control valve adjustment knob, the toe point flow shut off valve, toe point lock and pin. Our right, screed will not uh, lower. Step one, check the screed the travel lock valve. Warning, do not open the screed travel lock valve if anyone is near or under the screed. The screed can fall rapidly and the screed travel valve lock is open. The valve screed can cause severe injury or death. Carefully open the screed travel lock valve paragraph 223. Three, two, twenty-three, one. Second position, circle breaker number five. Reset, circle breaker number five. Circle breaker number five. Trip second. Inform supervisor problem. Step three. Check the screen travel lock valve is open. Circle breaker CB five is not tripped. Inform supervisor of the problem. All right, 18, fuel spray, wash down system will not spray. Check the fuel tank level for fuel. The fuel tank necessary, paragraph 333, speed burner, fuel shutoff valve. Step 2, check the position of screen burn, fuel shutoff valve. Turn the screen burner, fuel shutoff valve, the lock, lever to 12 o'clock position on. Step 3, check the position of screen fuel pump switch. Place the screen fuel pump switch in the up the on position, paragraph 221. Check the position of the ignition switch. Place the ignition switch on position, paragraph 22211. All right, fuel spray washdown system will not spray. Continue. Check the quick disconnect the coupling with the fuel spray one. Assembly screen burner manifold. Ensure that the quick disconnect coupling is properly per, connected properly per paragraph 337. Um, remove the fuel spray one spray tip. Check the tip of the blockage. Clean the fuel spray and spray tip. Spray run, spray one, uh, spray tip and tip retainer. If the script, screw burner shut off valve with the fuel pump switch, ignition switch is on. So if the spray one quick, disconnect the coupling, connect properly, spray the one tip is clean, the fuel the tank is filled, and then fill, inform the supervisor of the problem. All right, screw burners are in operative. Check with the, step one, check with the position of the screw burner fuel shut off valve. Turn the screw burner fuel shut off valve lever to the 12 o'clock on position. Chapter two, check left and right main screen. Burners and left and right extension screen burners to see if the screen burner vent cover and plates are fully open. Loosen the hex head screw, fully open the vent and cover the plates. Tighten the cap screw. Step three: check the position of the screen fuel pump switch. Place the screen fuel pump switch on the up position on paragraph on position para paragraph two two one. Check the position of the ignition switch. Place the ignition switch in the on position per paragraph two one one. Inspect the wire electrical connection leading with the screen burner solenoid valve wires leading to the screen and burner glow plugs. We inform the supervisor any broken disconnected missing wires if the screen burner fuel shut off valve screen fuel pump switch and ignition switch are on and if the screen burner vent cover plates are open inform the supervisor of the problem so the solenoid burner solenoid valve electrical connection solenoid bomb, um, burner valve solenoid valve solenoid burner solenoid valve electrical connector solenoid burner fuel shut off valve the exhaust plate exhaust vents um the screen burner vent cover plate and the blow, glow plug pipe wire All right, 70. Screed burners give off black smoke. Caution, except the heat can cause the damaged screed plate and plates. Do not operate the burner longer than 15 minutes. Check the light in the remain, right main screed burner, left and right extension screed plow blowers to see if the screed blower air controls and properly adjust. Loosen the new screws, adjusting screed blower um, air control panel plates in the orange and white screed burner combustion plate and a low combustion roar. But screed, screed blower air control plate through them the screw. Or screen, screen burners give off black smoke. Continue step two: check the clog exhaust vents with the trailing edge of the screen plate. Do not spray the diesel fuel on the hot screen. Allow the screen plates to cool for 30 minutes minimum prior to spraying. Spray hot screen plates with the cool diesel fuel can cause permanent damage to the screen plate. Clean exhaust vent is used with a fuel spray wash down paragraph 337. Screen, screen plate, screen exhaust vent, screen plate, exhaust vents. If the screen blower, blower controller plates are properly adjusted, the screen vent, exhaust vents are not clogged. Inform the supervisor. Of a problem. All right, RPMs um, 500 to 8, low idle 500 to 8, 150 RPMs, high idle 2600 to 2680 RPMs, governed 20, 2400 RPMs, engine oil pressure low idle 10 to 15 psi, high idle 30 to 100 psi, engine coolant temperature normal. Um, 700, 1700, 200, 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, hydraulic oil temperature 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, voltage 12 to 14 volt DC.
or Section 3, Operator Maintenance and Truck with Inspection, cover the maintenance and truck for the maintenance authorized by the Operator Maintenance Allocation Chart, minor adjustment of the maintenance with the removal of the installation procedure provided by the specific addition of the operation of the paving machine. 331, toolboxes, access of the paving machine toolbox is located with the operating platform underneath the rear top of the right access door. The access of the toolbox perform the following shove. Shut off the paving machine, position the operator control console to the left side of the operator platform to turn the control light. Console break, break handle two counterclockwise. Unclock the unclock unlock the console. Slide the con so along the guide shaft three to the lift um, to the left of the, until it stops. Three lock the console in place for turning the console brake handle clockwise. Unlock the removal the to toolbox pin padlock. Remove the relay relay raise the latch five and turn the nine, nine degrees for lift the rear top of the right to access door six. Turn the latch five ninety degrees lower to lock. Support access during opera open placing support of the rod seven and support rod socket eight. If the required toolbox eight and nine it can be removed by lifting straight up with the paving machine mainframe to discover the access of the toolbox perform the following steps. Lift the access door, release the support rod seven and the supporting rod socket eight, place the support rod seven in the storage hook. Ten, use the edge of the access door, six to lower the access door, push one end of the latch five and lift the other end of the turn ninety degrees, lower the access door six. Turn the latch 5 90 degrees lower the lock and secure the access door with a padlock, adding engine oil. Pit parking the paved machine on level the ground, shut off the engine per paragraph 211. Wait for the approximately 2 um, 5 minutes for the let the oil drain from the upper parts for the engine. Open the front of the top left access door, paragraph 224 11. So here, 224 1. Warning engine surface may be extremely hot. You thick waste cloth or like material protection for the burns when touching the hot engine parts. Contact with the engine parts then can lead to serious burns in fingers, hands. Check the engine oil level. You for the engine dipstick as follows. So remove the engine dipstick. One, wipe off clean with um, shop cloth. Replace the engine dipstick crankcase. Pull out the reading en re read, read engine oil level. Engine oil level should be between minimum and max marks on the dipstick. Replace the dipstick in the crankcase. If the engine oil is below the minimal mark on the dipstick, add engine oil as follows. Remove the oil filler opening cap located within the top of the engine, turning one quarter of the turn counterclockwise, pull straight up. Engine oil can, warning, engine oil could be moderate flammable, can be irritant with the skin, eyes, respiratory system, avoid prolonged exposure, eye protection, rubber gloves must be worn working with engine oil. Caution, add only enough engine oil to bring the oil level to the max mark with the dipstick. Oh, overfilling the engine could cause the engine oil to flow and could damage the internal engine components. Pour engine oil item 7 appendix D through the oil filler opening the periodically check the oil level of the dipstick adding engine oil necessary to bring the oil level to the maximum mark on the dipstick replace the filler cap um, and turn the quarter inch clockwise and tighten. Start the engine per paragraph 210 with a run of the approximate 5 minutes check the engine oil level add in oil necessary for the step per step C and D. Cl um, F close the top of the front top of the left access door paragraph 2242 2, adding fuel warning post signs reading no smoking within 50 feet when working with the open fuel lines or fuel tanks when refueling the fuel stop the vehicle shut down the engine never to add fuel with the engine running do not have the operator see with the add adding fuel after the fuel is added secure clothes tank cap loose cap and kind of that the fuel leak or by fire hazard but um, before starting vehicle, check that no fuel spilled on the around the vehicle. If the fuel spilled, wipe off the spilled fuel immediately with the rags. Spill with the contaminated rags in accordance with local procedure. The parking pay part of the paper machine on level grain shop of the engine. Remove the key from the ignition switch per paragraph two eleven. Caution: If the fuel tank is run with during the paving operation, the fuel system must be primed to air bled out with the system after refueling failure. To do so, make all the damage to the fuel pump cover the fuel system fair. If the fuel tank is, not, is dry, notify the supervisor. Approximately five gallons of the diesel fill should be remain on the two, in, in the tank when the fuel level, oil level gauge reads zero. Turn the ignition switch one on the on position. Check the uh, check the fuel, fuel fuel gauge two with the amount of fuel on the fuel tank. Open the lap of success access door per paragraph two twenty four two twenty two twenty four one. With the clean cloth, one, item one, pens D with the dirt and foreign material from the area over the top of the fuel tank, three around the fuel tank cap, four, unscrew the fuel can, tank, tank caps, um, four, and set aside. Flammable. Warning. Flame is very flammable. Can explode easily to avoid serious injury or death. Always wear safety goggles goggles at all times. Fuel. Keep the fuel away from the open flame. Any spark ignition sources. Keep at least B, C fire extinguisher with each of the reach when working with the fuel on fuel system. Do not work on the fuel system when the engine is hot. The fuel can be ignited with the hot engine. Clean the fuel tank with a purge flammable liquid vapors before welding, grinding, or using any heat producing device near the fuel tank. 
post signs reading no smoking within 50 feet working with the open fuel lines caution do not overfuel the fuel tank when the diesel fuel tank is begin for the fuel foam into the filler neck when the tank is filled the spilled spilled fuel is accumulated with the hard to reach in, in areas inside the paper machine and engine compartment caught with the fire has to wipe out the spilled fuel immediately after refueling dispose of the contaminated rags in accordance with local procedures or check for any foreign material accumulated with the filler neck of the strain with the notify to notify the unit mates any from the foreign material observed. Place a fuse nozzle on the filler neck with begin with the adding fuel to diesel fuel periodically stop fuel check of the fuel gauge level the, the level of the fuel tank fuel tank is weather when the fuel gauge needle with points at one increment mark do not overfuel the fuel tank stop fueling when the fuel of the tank starts to foam in the filler neck turn the ignition switch to stop the position remove the ignition key. Warning fuel and slippery um, slippery can cause fall to avoid uh, injury. Wipe off sp spilled fuel rags. Use clean cloth to wipe off any spilled diesel fuel. Replace fuel ca cap. Dispose of the contaminated clean cloth in accordance with the local procedure. Check the left access door, paragraph 2242. Adding hydraulic oil. Park the paving machine on level the grain. Shut the engine off. Remove the key from the ignition switch, per um, paragraph 211. Move the right access cover. Open the top right side access door, to paragraph 222. Sorry, 224.5 to 224.1. Caution cleanliness is extremely important with the adding hydraulic oil. Hydraulic oil in, in a clean area protected with the blowing out dirt and other debris. Failure to do so may result in extensive component. Where failure using clean cloth when they wipe dirt any foreign material over the area with the top of the reservoir. One hydraulic, hydraulic reservoir cap. Two. D. Unscrew the hydraulic reservoir cap and set um, set cap aside. Warning: Hydraulic oil can be moderately flammable, can be irritant with the skin, eyes, respiratory system, avoid prolonged exposure to production rubber gloves, but must be more warm when working with the hydraulic oil. Check any foreign material accumulated in the next strain. Next strainer three. Notify the unit mates foreign material. Um, Add, add hydraulic oil to the hydraulic reservoir until the level, level of the reservoir is near the top of the combination site. Glue light indicator. Replace the hydraulic reservoir cap. Turn on clockwise until tight. Wiper, wipe off the spilled hydraulic oil and clean cloth. The dispose of the contaminated clean cloth the corners with local procedure. Install right access cover close at the center top of the right access door and... Park the paving machine on level the ground shot of the engine in paragraph 211. After the engine stops, play for the ignition switch in one on, the, on position. Check the coolant level and temperature of the gauge on the gauge and pa um, panel J unit water temperature of about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the ignition switch in stop position. Open the top left access door, paragraph 224 one our extreme care should be taken when the removing the radiator cap and the temperature gauge with above with 180 degrees. Contact with the seam of the hot coolant may result in an injury or death. Use cleaning and thick of the waste for the glove with the like. Um, when material move the cap, avoid the glove. They use hot water soak with the glove through gloves. The personnel could be burned. Use extreme care when removing the radiator pressure cap. So the release of the oil from the pressure cause of the steam flash, which could seriously injure the personnel. You D use a clean cloth to slowly loosen the radiator cap. First stop the release of the pressure. After the pressure is released. Remove the radiator cap. Visually check the engine with the engine coolant level to the proper the coolant level to the proper the fill of the neck above the radiator fins. Add a 50 50 ratio anti freezing water mixture with the pre mix before the adding coolant to the radiator. The ability to anti freeze to remove the heat from the engine is not a good water. Improving the engine for into the engine first could cause the in an overheated condition before liquid or completed in mix. Mix mix required amount of 50 50 ratio anti seizing to um, anti freeze to mix with water mixture fill the radiator to proper level to replace the radiator cap. Tighten close the top of the level of access door paragraph 2242. Air cleaner filter as replacement. Open the right access door. Paragraph 224.1. Loosen the clamp one between be, between the air cleaner deflector and air uh, two and air cleaner intake three. Move the cleaner intake three. Remove the wing nut four. We'll seal the washer five. Hold the air cleaner filter element six. Slide the air cleaner filter element six out of the air cleaner deflector to discard. Remove the set baffle seven. The cleaner intake three and remove the vacuum diaphragm. Warning, clean solvent on the PD680 with a toxic oil flammable wear. Protect the goggles and gloves. Use only well ventilated area. Avoid contact with skin and eye for clothes and don't breathe vapor to keep away from the heat or flame. Never the smoke with the using solvent as flashpoint and flashpoint. For type 3 cleaning solvent is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Failure to do so may result in injury to death of the personnel. If the person will become dizzy with the, um, while the solvent and cleaning solvent immediately get fresh air and medical help, solvent can, contacts again with the cloth, flush the cold water. If the solvent contacts eye, flush eye with the water, get immediate medical uh, attention. 
immediately. Clean the interior with an air cleaner file. Use the cleaning cloth with the motion with a clean solvent and clean the interior air with a cleaner defector. Use the cleaning cloth and detergent to clean the air cleaner intake. The baffle and, and um, th baffle seven by vac vacuum diaphragm eight. Rinse the air cleaner air and cleaner and cleaner intakes three. Baffle seven the vacuum diaphragm eight and clean water and air dry. Install air cleaner with a filter element. Um, uh, install vacuum diaphragm eight onto the air intake three. Make sure it's fully in seated onto the intake. To install the baffle seven until the fully seated into the air intake three. Install the new air cleaner filter element six into the air cleaner deflector two. Install the seal wa seal washer five with the wing nut four. To secure the air cleaner filter element six. Tighten the finger tight. Um, install the air take cleaner take intake three. Secure the width of the clamp and tighten band. Check close the right access door with a paragraph 2242. Two. Open left access door 2241. Two, two, Reset really the air cleaner surface indicator knob 9 by the pressing button 10 with the top surface indicator knob. Start the engine per paragraph 210. Set the out of control max to the control switch to max. Run the paving machine engine at max speed for 2 minutes. Shut down the paving machine paragraph per paragraph 211. Check the air cleaner surface indicator knob 9. If the red flag is raised, notify the units. Unit maintenance check R closed left access door paragraph two two twenty four or two twenty four two. Alright, your fuel spray wash down system operation. The spray wash down system should be used at the end of the end of end of each paving operation. The paving machine should be washed down with the machine sitting at idle with long with enough to allow the hotting, hot paving material to cool and harden the use of the piling procedure operating spray wash down. Caution, a warning caution, your, your insulation environmental control officer for the insulation procedure proceeds with disposing reclaiming spray diesel fuel from before washing down paving machine. Park the paving machine on level ground, leave the machine running, place the control handle in neutral, place the paving machine in the following configuration prior to the starting of the spray wash down, place the travel switch in two in the down uh, neutral position place the screed and holding screed lift the switch and three in the uplift position three move the left extension speed control switch forward left and the right switch on the right into the file extend extension screed warning the screed can fall rapidly do not lower the screed if any with the near under screed if all the screed can cause severe injury or death Throw the screed to the uh, to the ground by holding the screed fillet lift with the switch of the three in the down float position. Lower the hopper wings by holding both the hopper wings so switches in the lower positions. Lower the fuel flow gates and holding the flow gate switches in the down uh, six down flows position. Perform paving machine show and down procedure paragraph two eleven. All right, we retrieve the fuel and one assembly figure eight with the fuel um from the fuel figure located with the right with the operator of the platform. Grab the screed, step to the back with the edge of the top of the step of the platform, pull back away with the tractor, remove the protection cover the way from the disconnect connecting coupling nine, connect the spray one assembly to quick disconnect coupling on the spree. Burner manifold ten, pressing down on the quick disconnect lock ring, inserting the fuel spray coupling. Place the ignition switch seven on the on position. Warning: fuel is very flammable, can easily explode, easily to avoid serious injury and death. Always wear safety goggles and gloves. Never operate the space for air wash down as system with degree burns operating. Keep fuel away from the open flame and any ignition sources. Um, keep a list of the BC fire extinguisher with each of the uh, where each working with the fuel or fuel system. Post signs not read no smoking within 50 feet when working with the open fuel lines and old fuel tanks. Always wear personal protective equipment such as face field and protective clothing or goggle gloves. Use the following instruction complete with the um, entire paving machine wash on wash on all parts of the paving machine that come into the contact with the paving material. Operate the fuel spray control 11 to press the trigger and the spray. Start a spray. All right, warning, fuel is very inflammable, can explode easily, avoid serious injury or death, always wear safety goggles and gloves. At all times, never operate the spray wash down system with screed burners operating. Keep the fuel away from the open flame, any sparks, ignition sources, keep the least of BC, fire extinguisher, will easy reach with the working fuel or on fuel on fuel or on fuel system. Post signs reading, no smoking within 50 feet, working with the open fuel lines, fuel tanks, always wear protective, um, Protective equipment such as face field, the protective clothing, gloves, gloves, set the screen, burner fuel, shut off valve 12 on the open, turn the valve handle to the 12 o'clock position, turn the screen fuel valve switch to the 13 to the LH speed control command or the outbound position. All right, fuel is very flammable, can be exploded easily, avoid serious injury or death, always safety goggles, and um, all times, I never operate a spray wash down system with the screen burners operating to keep the fuel away from the open flame of this ignition source to keep the B and C fire extinguisher with ease of um, easy reach with the working with fuel and fuel system in place the sign that reads no smoking within 50 feet when working with the open fuel line fuel tanks. Okay. 
when open with it, uh, when working with the open line fuel tanks, and always wear protective equipment such as face shield, protective clothing, and gloves. Caution: Not spray fuel on the hot screen plates. The all screw, allow screw plates to cool for 30 minutes minimum prior to spraying. Spraying hot screw plates with the fuel can cause permanent damage to the screw screw plates. Um, three spray light coat the fuel on the push rollers. Um, 14 hopper wings, 15 clayer, 16 flow gates. Um, 17. Use enough fuel um, fuel to dissolve the hardening pavement material ma manually and scrape off the deposits that do not wash off easily. Open all three hinge access doors, 18 on the front of the hopper, and spray a little coat with the fuel exposed to the conveyor chain, 19 conveyor rollers, and 20, and the bearing units, 21. 5. Turn the ignition, seat, the ignition switch 22 for the start position. Immediately release the engine start plate for the failure control switch, and 23 on the both three po panels on the, uh, on the on position. 7. Place the auger conveyor switch 24 on the on open on position on one at a time. Place the screw it, spray all the bolts um, set bolt, both sets of the conveyor chain 19. Place the auger control air switch 24 on the center off position. Place the feeder control switch and 23 on the both screen control panels down off position 11. Turn the ignition switch 22 for the stop position after the engine stops. Turn the ignition switch 22 on the on position. Close access door. All right. Note: An auger feeder extension bolt, one screw to the extension cutoff screws were paid with them. Operation sure they include with this radio wash on clean with the auger air conveyor screeded. Fuel is very flammable, can explode easily. Avoid serious injury, death. With the always use safety goggles and glasses. Never operate a spray wash on scene with the green burner. Keep the way from the open flame and the ignition. Any spark of ignition source. Keep the way, keep at least a BC fire extinguisher easy within reach of work on the fuel system. Post and sign of the reading no smoking within 50 feet. Working within open fuel lines. Or take, always wear protective um, equipment such as face shield, protective clothing, and gloves. Spray a light coat with the fuel conveyor shaft and the rocket wheels. 25. Expose the conveyor chain. 20, 19. Auger shaft. 26. Auger flights. 27. Ensure that both left and right conveyor chains are auger shaft lights are sprayed with fuel. And then 15, wash down the main screen plate with 20, 28, strike off plate 29, inside the end gate 30, if you like, limit switch panel 31, and extension thir screen 32, ensure the both left and right sides of screens are washed down. All right, warning. The fuel is very flammable; can explode easily. The void serious injury or death. Always use safety glasses and goggles. Never operate the spray wash on system. Free screen burners operating with fuel away from the open flame. Any ignition source. Keep the least beefy fire extinguisher within each reach for working with the fuel or, or fuel system. Post signs with that read: No smoke within 50 feet. Working with the open fuel line of the tank. Always wear protective equipment such as face shields and protective clothing or gloves. Clean the trail edge of the main screen with the left to right extension screen plate. Ensure the ensure the pavement material does not build up in the recessed screen frame. Seven, 17. Place the fuel pump within the screen. The down off position. Close the screen. Burner fuel shut off valve 10. Turning the valve handle 3 o'clock position. Disconnect the fuel spray assembly 8. From the quick disconnect, disconnect coupling at 8 and 9 on the screen. Bent burner manifold 11. Install the protection cover. The quick disconnect the coupling. Lift the post, post screen so steps forward until the fuel is seated. Coil, coil, coil up with the return spray wand. Assembly to fuel spray wand. Hanger right on the operator platform. Start paving machine engine. Paragraph 210. All right. Place the auger conveyor switch 31 in the down man for the manual position. Play for the both left hand, right hand feeder control switch in the 32 up position. On the on position, run the auger system for the one minute. Distribute the diesel fuel over the components of the system. After one minute, place the both feeder control switch 32 on the down. Off position warning: the screen can fall rapidly down lower the screen if anyone of the near under the screen falling screen can cause severe injury or death. Um, falling screen can cause severe injury or death. Place the screen lift to switch four in the upper left in the lift position. Lift screen up, uh, up off the ground six inches a second. Left and right extension screen three or four times in and out using screen, extension screen control switch three. The screen can fall rapidly. Don't lower the screen if anyone near and under the screen. Falling screen can cause severe injury or death. Follow the screen to the ground by placing screen lift switch in the down float position. Shut off the engine. Remove the key from the ignition switch. Paragraph 211. Inspect the area of the paving machine that come in contact with the paving material. Pre-wash down procedure. Remove the remaining buildup of the paving material. And that takes care of chapter 3.